Biological Life Cycle, Wikipedia Article Audio In biology, a biological life cycle is a series of changes in form that an organism undergoes, returning to the starting state. The concept is closely related to those of the life history, development, and ontogeny, but differs from them in stressing renewal. Transitions of form may involve growth, asexual reproduction, or sexual reproduction. In some organisms, different generations of the species succeed each other during the life cycle. For plants and many algae, there are two multicellular stages, and the life cycle is referred to as alternation of generations. The term life history is often used particularly for organisms such as the red algae which have three multicellular stages, rather than two. Discovery Haplontic life cycle Life cycles that include sexual reproduction involve alternating haploid and diploid stages, i.e., a change of ploidy is involved. To return from a diploid stage to a haploid stage, meiosis must occur. In regard to changes of ploidy, there are three types of cycles. The cycles differ in when mitosis occurs. Zygotic meiosis and gametic meiosis have one mitotic stage, mitosis occurs during the N phase in zygotic meiosis and during the 2N phase in gametic meiosis. Therefore, Zygotic and gametic meiosis are collectively termed haplobiontic. Sporic meiosis, on the other hand, has mitosis in two stages, both the diploid and haploid stages, termed diplobiontic. The study of reproduction and development in organisms was carried out by many botanists and zoologists. Wilhelm Hofmeister demonstrated that alternation of generations is a feature that unites plants, and published this result in 1851. Some terms used for the description of life cycles were proposed initially for algae by Nils Svedelius, and then became used for other organisms. Other terms used in protist life cycles were introduced by Carl Gottlieb Grell. The description of the complex life cycles of various organisms contributed to the disproof of the ideas of spontaneous generation in the 1840s and 1850s. Diplontic life cycle A zygotic meiosis is a meiosis of a zygote immediately after karyogamy, which is the fusion of two cell nuclei. This way, the organism ends its diploid phase and produces several haploid cells. These cells divide mitotically to form either larger, multicellular individuals, or more haploid cells. Two opposite types of gametes from these individuals or cells fuse to become a zygote. In the whole cycle, zygotes are the only diploid cell, mitosis occurs only in the haploid phase. Haplotoplontic life cycle The individuals or cells as a result of mitosis are haplons, hence this life cycle is also called haplontic life cycle. Haplons are In gametic meiosis, instead of immediately dividing meiotically to produce haploid cells, the zygote divides mitotically to produce a multicellular diploid individual or a group of more unicellular diploid cells. Cells from the diploid individuals then undergo meiosis to produce haploid cells or gametes. Haploid cells may divide again to form more haploid cells, as in many yeasts, but the haploid phase is not the predominant life cycle phase. In most diplons, Mitosis occurs only in the diploid phase, i.e. gametes usually form quickly and fuse to produce diploid zygotes. In the whole cycle, gametes are usually the only haploid cells, and mitosis usually occurs only in the diploid phase. Vegetative meiosis 
The diploid multicellular individual is a diplont, hence a gametic meiosis is also called a diplontic life cycle. Diplonts are Evolution In sporic meiosis, the zygote divides mitotically to produce a multicellular diploid sporophyte. The sporophyte creates spores via meiosis which also then divide mitotically producing haploid individuals called gametophytes. The gametophytes produce gametes via mitosis. In some plants the gametophyte is not only small-sized but also short-lived, in other plants and many algae, the gametophyte is the dominant stage of the life cycle. Haplotoplants are Some animals have a sex determination system called haplotoploid, but this is not related to the haplotoplontic life cycle. Some red algae and lemonia and green algae have vegetative meiosis, also called somatic meiosis, which is a rare phenomenon. Vegetative meiosis can occur in haplotoplontic and also in diplontic life cycles. The gametophytes remain attached to and part of the sporophyte. Vegetative diploid cells undergo meiosis, generating vegetative haploid cells. These undergo many mitosis, and produces gametes. A different phenomenon, called vegetative diploidization, a type of apomixis, occurs in some brown algae. Cells in a haploid part of the plant spontaneously duplicate their chromosomes to produce diploid tissue. The primitive type of life cycle probably had haploid individuals with asexual reproduction. Bacteria and archaea exhibit a life cycle like this, and some eukaryotes apparently do too. However, these eukaryotes probably are not primitively asexual, but have lost their sexual reproduction, or it just was not observed yet. Many eukaryotes exhibit asexual reproduction, which may be facultative or obligate in the life cycle with sexual reproduction occurring more or less frequently. Haplontic life cycle The haploid stage is multicellular and the diploid stage is a single cell. Meiosis is zygotic. Diplontic life cycle The diploid stage is multicellular and haploid gametes are formed. Meiosis is gametic. Haplotiplontic life cycle Multicellular diploid and haploid stages occur. Meiosis is sporic. In archaeplastidans, some green algae, in stromenopiles, some golden algae, in alveolates, many dinoflagellates e.g. serachium, gymnodinium, some apicomplexans, in rhizarians, some euglyphids, acidosporians, in excavates, some parabasalids, in amoebozoans. Dictyostelium, in epistocants, most fungi. In archaeplastidans, some green algae acetabularia, in stromenopiles, some brown algae, some xanthophytes, most diatoms, some umicetes, opalines, some heliozoans, in alveolates, ciliates, in excavates, some parabasalids, in epistocants, animals, some fungi. In archaeplastidans, red algae, some green algae, land plants, in stromenopiles, most brown algae, in rhizarians, many foraminiferans, plasmodioforomycetes, in amoebozoa, myxogastrids, in epistocants, some fungi, other eukaryotes. Haptophytes